Hey everyone, Mike from Guys with Steel Chairs here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the basically the start of the best time of the year when grown men love to point up into the air at this wonderful sign that signifies the biggest event in pretend sports history, um, the Royal Rumble. So, basically, Royal Rumble has been around for a long, long time, and over 20 years now, I know that much. Um, and it starts the road to WrestleMania, and it is the time that really builds up the hype for this wonderful event where people come from all over the world, um, basically for one show. And first off, I will talk about CM Punk versus The Rock and how I see that match ending up. Um, I do see The Shield interfering, which I don't know if a lot of people have talked about really as an actual possibility, but I don't think The Shield is on CM Punk's side. Um, the Shield might be with Brock Lesnar, or, well, eventually long-term Brock Lesnar, but Paul Heyman more so right now. Um, and he might be... He might be with someone else. I just... I see their genuine gripe against injustice easily can transition into we don't like CM Punk. Um, because CM Punk has been unjust the way he was winning up until The Shield's debut. And then even after The Shield's debut, granted, The Shield was the ones causing him to be unjust. Um, I think just that whole idea of injustice is what surrounded CM Punk's title reign. And it's what made CM Punk's title reign so good was that no one can actually get it off of him because he knows he cares more about the title than winning fairly. And the title should be the title really is the forefront of why he's acting this way and why he's unjust. And that's what makes him so good. And that's what would make them really having that argument against injustice. That's what would make that good as well. So yeah, unfortunately, I do see The Rock winning as champion. Um, I don't like that. I don't know if it necessarily means Rock Cena too. I'm not against Rock Cena too. I think Rock and Cena, because of the two types of characters they are, Rock and Cena works. Um, I just think it's a little unfair that they build it as once in a lifetime, and I think that's ultimately. It's something that you're going to be taking away from those fans who put so much time, money, and effort into WrestleMania 28. Because it is, it, I'm learning now, it is, WrestleMania is a huge investment, and to take that away from the fans a year later is rough. Um, but once again, it will, it'll mean the fans going to WrestleMania 29 or the fans buying WrestleMania 29 get to see a show that could potentially be good. Who knows, maybe one of them will be more of a bad guy this year. Maybe the storyline that they'll do is different. Um, if they go that route, Rock or Cena could also verse Taker. I think Rock could also verse Brock Lesnar. That'll be good. Rock could verse CM Punk again. Um, Rock, Cena could be in some sort of a triple threat match. Um, both of these guys could be in some sort of a triple threat match. I just, the one-on-one -on -one Cena Rock might not work right now. Um, Big Show Del Rio. Um, I see it as a good time for Ziggler to cash in. Ziggler has to come in first or second in the Rumble. Could be scared that that's not going to be his way to get into WrestleMania. So he takes a title knowing that a title will get him into WrestleMania. All he has to do is defend it at Elimination Chamber. Um, otherwise, I see Del Rio winning. I think it's a foregone conclusion. Um, Del Rio just winning the actual match if Ziggler cashes in, Ziggler cashes in, but Del Rio looks a lot better in this position. It looks like he's enjoying it more. It looks like the fans are enjoying him more. And it looks like he actually cares about his wrestling matches while holding the title, and I think that's a good thing. I think WWE should want to go the route that they're going with Del Rio. Is it the best thing for the title? I don't know. Is it the best thing for Del Rio? Definitely. Um... Hell No versus Road Scholars. Um, Road Scholars probably gonna win. I think Daniel Bryan and Kane both can be great in chamber matches. Both can be great at WrestleMania in some sort of 
not SmackDown versus Raw match, but one of the, one of those matches that really gets a lot of people together and really shows off what each individual can do. I think Hell No is perfect for that, whereas Road Scholars isn't as perfect for that. Um, so I think it is important to start looking at what they can do for Mania, and I think both of them, both Kane and Daniel Bryan, have done more than what they needed to do with the title. And it's helped them in the long run, too. It, they're going to look... They're going to be able... They're going to make whatever match that they're in at Mania marketable. Um, and that's definitely a good thing, because that'll get me involved. I'll want to see that match more. So for the fans, it even it makes more sense. Daniel Bryan and, or um, Rhodes Scholars to have the title. And you could have two... Hell, if Rey Mysterio and... And Car are back, and that'll please some people to see them in a tag match. Good, and that'll get that match sort of. It won't be that big, big feel, but it'll be a match that people will enjoy seeing. And there is a demographic, despite the fact that internet wrestling fans don't like Rey Mysterio and Sin Car, there is a demographic for them. And and that demographic hates Road Scholars, so why not? Um. Royal Rumble match. They WWE.com only has like eleven official people. Um, we saw in Raw more than eleven people come out, but Cena unfortunately is a possible possibility to win. I don't think he needs it. I don't think he's going to be wrestling for the title. Um, some sort of surprise in there could be a possibility to win. Ryback could be a possibility to win because I think that would make him look like a beast. And if he doesn't, I could see him beating. Kane's record of eleven eliminations because he is a beast. They need him to look like a beast, um, and he's good. And people genuinely like him, which is really, I guess, what it's about. Um, Brock Lesnar could win if he comes back. Once again, talking about the Shield Punk story a lot, or yeah, the Shield Punk thing with Heyman. Um, depending on the route that they want to go there, and. Let's see. Who else is a possibility to win? Taker, I thought. Putting the title on Taker or making Taker wrestle for the title at Mania will make a lot of people really think if he's going to win or lose because people know that Taker's only wrestling one match a year. People know that Taker's not coming out, so I think that's one way to really get fans to think Taker might lose at Mania. Whether or not he does, that's a different story. Whether or not who it's to really, really matters. Um, unless Brock's wrestling for three, four more years, Taker should beat Brock, unless, yeah, unless he's wrestling for those couple more years after. Um, Cena, I can't see him losing to, unless they're going to turn Cena heel, which just doesn't seem like a possibility. Punk could beat Taker if they want to go that route. I just don't know how they'll transition into a Punk-Taker feud. Um... Who else? Taker could defend against someone big like a Lesnar, like a Rock, like a Cena, and then Ziggler could cash in. That's another way I see him losing. I think that would put Ziggler over huge. Ziggler would be the biggest dick. You could establish CM Punk as more of an anti-hero type of face um, if you do that, and I think that is a huge, huge deal. Um, no matter what happens, though, at the end of this match, I know that we're on the road to WrestleMania. It's the time of the year where people are going to... Grown men are going to point at a sign and cry. People are going to look up at that sign and know that something is up. Pointing at that sign signifies everything, and we're going to see it dozens and dozens of times. WrestleMania is about pointing at the sign, and that's essentially what WrestleMania is, is the ability to point at that sign for 30 months and say, hey, I'm going to New Jersey, because New Jersey is such a good place to be. Um, and yeah, they're going to point at that sign. Some will cry, some will be happy, some will be sad. It's the only time of year where pointing is more important. Pointing one finger is more important, except when you're driving, also in New Jersey, and you flip someone off. Um, yeah, this is the most important pointing is all year, and the Royal Rumble really starts that, so you should start getting excited. 
You should point at signs. You should look at people and point. You should really make them feel the power of that finger because for the next three months, we're all going to be captivated by grown men pointing at signs.